There's something about it. There's this pungent umami beautifulness that's happening with it. it, it it's gorgeous. What's up everybody? I have made my way to Da Nang. These are my first eats here in this city here. Let's check this out. I'm gonna start with something called Bun Cha Ka. Let's go. The proper name of it is Bun Mom Net. Bun? <laughs> Try it again. Bun? Boon. Boon. Yeah. Is, is yeah, it, yeah. It's got to go up. Boon. The enunciation always gets me. I can't do it. <laughs> this is D. I met D because I got a haircut. And D cut my hair for me. And I told him what I did and asked him if he wanted to join me in the video. And he was like, absolutely. Let's go out and film. Because he knows all the best spots here in the Nam. So, Boon Chao Ka, my understanding, you can correct me if I'm wrong, this is a very much a Da Nang dish. Exactly. It's from this region right so here. So this is no food. It's a, basically a noodle soup with fish cakes. Yes. Uh, is this sweet potato? What is, I don't know the name. You don't know the English name. <laughs> That's okay. It looks like a sweet potato. I'm gonna bite it right now and I'm gonna tell you. So before I do too much with this, I'm just gonna take a bite of this. Maybe a yam or some type of Vietnamese pumpkin or something. I'm not exactly sure. But this looks absolutely amazing. Mm. So I would assume, like any other soup in Vietnam, add a little bit of herbs and everything else to it. Yeah, you can do both. Like you can do this, add like this, or you can do the mouth. Okay, so you do it. You do it both ways. Is that a fish cake? Yes. That's definitely a fish cake. It's tomato. I think the other one you asked me uh, is pumpkin. I think pumpkin. That's what I was wondering. I thought it was a sweet potato when I first picked it up. And this is why, for me, like finding a local that you can get to run around with you and take you to places, I would have never found something like this on my own. Not without a ton of research and a ton of searching around and probably had 15 versions of it that weren't the best thing in the world. Oh man. Very tasty. That is awesome. It's a very simple soup. Like there's not a lot of complex flavors that happen with the broth itself. The broth is just kind of there in the background. It's like onion with the vinegar. Yeah, definitely. Throw some on there. All right, let's add some uh, herbs to this here as well. So what is your preference when you're eating for this, for the herbs? Do you normally add it in or do you just go straight? Uh, actually, sometimes I do both. Sometimes I do add to my mouth. Go back and forth and back and forth. What's going to make this is this right here. Wow. Chili? <laughs> you don't have this kind of chili? Yeah, I'll eat those too. I eat, I'll eat any kind of chili. If it's a chili, I'm going after it. I know I've said this before. I've released three other videos here in Vietnam, and I know I've said this. Uh, the fresh herbiness of the food here. Very clean taste on everything. Super herby. The chilies here are spicy. Like I said, coming from the Philippines, they're not very spicy. They are spicy here. Lit up immediately. Got a fish cake, got some noodles, whole thing is covered up on top with a bunch of little chilies on it. Go. Yeah. Oh man. Wow. I'm, I'm really glad that this is like my first real dish here in Da Nang. Because uh, it's fantastic. Like, this is something I could eat every single day. Wow. Boon Ka, first start there. That was pretty awesome. Let's go see what else he gets us into. This is the restaurant that we're coming to next. And we are here for something in particular. I've read about this for months now. It's called Mom Nem. Uh, it's a dish that's made with a fermented fish paste. I'm super excited to try this. Check it out. Oh. 
this anyway. The next place that we got here. This was a dish that, like I said, I, I, I've been dying to try this for quite a while now. What it is, it's, it's basically uh, noodles. It's a, a vermicelli. And what I have here is a roasted pork or like a suya with the mom nem all over it. The proper name of it is boon mom nem. Boon? <laughs> try it again. Boon? 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 Yeah. Is, is yeah, it, yeah it's yeah. got to go up. Boon? The enunciation always gets me. I can't do it. <laughs> and what uh, D has here is he has a boiled pork that he has with his here. You get the fresh veggies with it. There's some fish cakes here. The uh, mom nem is a fermented fish. It's basically, I believe it's anchovies that they make this from. So, oh yeah, it is super pungent. Like, wow. Like, I've had fermented fish paste and sauces all over. Oh, I wish this was smell-o-vision. Like, because that will wake you right up. That yeah, is super strong. strong. But it's okay. Like, I'm dying to try that. So, what it is, the noodles and the pork, there's some peanuts on this, and then she's poured mum nem all over the top of it. So, I am going to... I believe she poured some mum nem on there. Yeah, but I want more. You want more? You, you like it? I want to try it first because I've never had this before. Yeah. And it is strong. Try first then, yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm going to get just a piece of the pork with some of the mom nem on it. And let's see. Like you guys know, I can handle <laughs> quite a bit of different stuff. I'm telling you right now, the smell of this gets you. Let's go. Oh, wow. It's the most bizarre thing ever, because if I'm not mistaken, like smell makes up like 90% of your actual taste. Once you get over the smell of the mum nem with the meat and everything, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like I'm in a hundred percent agreement with D here. Look at him go. Just mix it all up. Yeah. Super professional. <laughs> like I'm such a rookie at this. It's more of the mum nem on there. I'm also with him, with Two chilies. Like, look at that. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. Let's get a bit of chili on there. So let's see, we got the chilies in here. We got some of the pork. D is just tearing that up. What do you think? It's good. You're a fan of it? Yeah. You're not scared of the mom them? Because I'm the one that actually suggested, like, do you know where we could find I this? And you were like, yes. It's my favorite. It's your favorite? Yeah. All right, here we go. Mm. You get the mint that pops through in there with the fresh herbs, a little papaya that's going on with it. And I kid you not, once you get beyond the smell of the mom nem, it's a beautiful flavor through the whole thing. And these chilies, oh my god, they are spicy. I, and it's not super hot. Like, I know I can do a lot hotter than this, but I'm just not used to them anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, it's awesome. All right, just so you guys don't think I'm playing around with this here. Throwing another bit on there. <laughs> it adds a great flavor. Like I said, once you get beyond the smell of it, because even if you just, like, just bring in the bowl over to you like that, it, like, lights you. It is pungent. It's got an extremely strong aroma to it. But it's much like fermented shrimp paste or fish paste that I've had anywhere else in the world. It's a great flavor to it. Dee's over there just killing that bowl. I can't thank Dee enough for bringing me out here tonight. <laughs> this is awesome. Like, this is the way I want to be able to eat when I go out. My God, that's good. Once again, I was a little bit scared of the mom dem. That is amazing. That is awesome. I'm coming back to this place for lunch. All right, D, where'd you bring me? Uh, we are here at the uh, Quang Dai Lok. We're gonna eat like Ban Chang Food in Hell today. It's also traditional food in Danang. We uh, also eat with Mom Nem. 
It's with the mom nem as yeah. well. Yeah, this is one of the reasons like I wanted to try this because yeah. it also has the mom nem. Uh, now apparently here, because you're gonna make individual rolls Sorry. out of everything that's gonna happen here, I am gonna have Dee show me how to do this. He gave me his mum nem mix that he made up. It's got lime, it's got chilies in there, and a bunch of mum nem. Uh, oh, it is super plunge. You can rate my folding technique. I don't think I did it very well. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Like, yeah. I somewhat made it out. So, and then, as you guys saw, D already ripped into that one there. What you're supposed to do now is dip into your mom nem with your chilies and your lime. It's so pungent. Like, it has a really strong aroma to it. And it just works. Oh man. Now I can see where some of my fellow countrymen, mostly because they have the palate of a chicken nugget, would find this a little bit of a turn off. But once again, like I said, once you get past the smell, the flavors that work with everything inside of this here, pork in here, fresh herbs and spices, fruits in here, the chilies and the lime with the mum nem. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, these things are awesome. I gotta do another one of these. Let's see if I can get one of his chilies up on there. A couple of his chilies. There we go. Got some chilies on there. This is unbelievable. Kind of makes me jealous that you've been eating stuff like this all your life. I've had to come to Vietnam to have it. No way. That's wrapping up here, Quan Dai Lo. This place is awesome. Food's amazing. Staff, super friendly, super helpful. Let's see what else we can get into. All right, Dee, where are we? Uh, we are at Quan Li and we have. Uh, Morning glory and stingray today. And a couple of sauces. Uh, so we got a grilled stingray. Like the process of them making this in the back there mm. is the cutest thing I ever seen in my life. Like I had to crawl through underneath this little hole to go back there. And there's a sweet little old woman's back there over a small grill fire, turning over her stingray over and over. I guess I should say our stingray, but it, it was amazing to see. Uh, they've also brought out a couple of sauces here. Uh, there's some chilies and fish sauce here. And this is mum nem, I think. We have more mum nem. Yeah. <laughs> so a mum we get a lot of them. <laughs> so I see rice paper uh, rolls here. So I'm assuming that with the stingray, you're making a wrap of some gum. Yeah. So you're going to have to show me how to do that. Uh, Ken Kong, Morning Glories. I've had these all over the world. Really? Uh, they're one of my favorite vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had them in Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand. Mm -hmm. I've had them everywhere. They're delicious. It's one of my favorite vegetables out there. So I'm, I really want to see this. Can you show me how to make one of these? Yes, I like it thick, so I'll take You it double it up so it doesn't tear apart on you? Same. <laughs> okay, so you get some herbs. It's just all the fresh herbiness that's going on with everything in Vietnam. It's amazing. Some meat. And then this uh, one here, this came with the uh, yeah, this is like morning season. glories. It's uh, soy, soy sauce, sauce and yeah. chili. So what are we supposed to do here? Are we supposed to pour one of the dipping sauces into our home bowl? Yeah, yeah so. so that you're not yeah, double dipping share, into... Yeah, I'm something that. You like how we instantly just threw the mom nem in my bowl? And not the fish sauce and chilies? The stingray just flakes right off of here. 
just everything just pops right out. See if I remember how to do this from back in my days of doing illicit things. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody would be proud of me and my rolling techniques. Uh, I'm jumping right in here with Mom Nem. Stingray, Mom Nem. Stupid girl. Oh, wow. I can't get over the Mom Nem and how pungent it is when you just smell it. But once you get everything mixed in with it, the fresh herbs, the veggies, uh, in this case, the stingray, some shallots, some lemongrass, the chilies that are in here are light meal. That's unbelievable. Oh, wow. Can you uh, try this and let me know if it's the same, similar in other countries? Uh, it's very similar to, well, I don't know. I haven't had it here in Da Nang, but I had it in uh, Saigon. What does it look like? like Twi it looks exactly garlic like and the chili. Garlic, chilies, that's exactly how they do it. Morning glories are probably one of my all-time all favorite vegetables. If there's one negative thing to say about morning glories, they're strandy and it gets inside of your teeth and it's hard to get out, but they're delicious. It's just perfection all the way around. And always the best way to have the morning glories is to make sure you have that little side of soy sauce and chilies, but it's perfect. Just makes everything beautiful. All right, I'm gonna do another one of these because I want to try this with the fish sauce and the chilies. All right, the last one that I made up there with the cucumbers, I didn't see that there was sour mango here as well. We're gonna get some of that in there. Are you starting to get full? Yeah. Yeah? It's so you much food. It always is. Here we go again. This time, fish sauce, chilies. I like the fish sauce here because it's always sweet. And it's, uh, to me, it's a nice contrast with the spiciness of the chilies that are here. All right, here we go. Fish sauce, chilies, it's great. I'm gonna be honest with you here. I know tonight's the first time I've had it. I think I prefer the Mount Nem. It, it's just, there's something about it. There's this, Pungent, umami, beautifulness that's happening with it. it, it it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. We're finishing off here at Quan Lee. The Stingray was amazing. These are the sweetest women in the world back here. They took me back, showed me how it was all made. This is amazing. One more thing I'm gonna get a good jump into right now. Let's go. Here in Da Nang, they apparently eat balut a little bit differently than they do in Saigon. Uh, it's definitely different than I've seen anywhere else. We had a beautiful little balut here. There's some pickled vegetables and some chili here. There's uh, some coriander. So they said just grab a little bit. I'm gonna grab a little bit of salt. So here we go, balut. So what do you do? Uh, you take a little bite of the balut and then grab a little bit of the pickled vegetables. So delicious. The acidity of the pickled vegetables is a stark contrast to the balut, but it works. I am so full right now. So, there you go. I still maintain, if you refuse to eat balut, something wrong with you. Wrapping up an awesome evening. I cannot thank D enough for this. This, like, one of these unbelievable experiences. Just in case you guys come to Da Nang, I'm leaving a link down in the description below for his salon. So if you're in town and you need a haircut, give him a shout. Thank you so much for this. This has been awesome. Uh, you guys be sure to tune in next week, see what else I get up to.